Okay, so um, let's just talk about this tower first because um, it's not my favorite card, okay? It is in the upright position, so I do feel that um, coming in for this week, there is something that you're going to have to um, take control of, and it's something that has been like brewing in the background, and I do feel that for this week, stepping up, having the courage to tackle this issue so that it doesn't get out of hand, okay? So you have potential to change the outcome of this, and I don't feel that, you know, it. It's a weekly reading, so don't look at this as like this major catastrophic event. I don't feel it's that way. Um, however, it does require attention from your end, okay? I do feel for a lot of you, it might be financially related to um, your financial, um, I guess, dealing with another person. So the tower situation can be revealing in that... Um, you come to terms with where this person is coming from. So before you had like a financial entanglement with this person and you don't really know exactly like how assets are divided, for example, and then coming to light is this new sense of like um, awareness, information, and you just have to handle it, okay? You have to fix it or you can tweak it. Um, so that the terms are more favorable for you, okay? Additionally, for those who are dealing with like earth or a water sign, I do feel that this tower situation can be something uh, that is related to those two signs, okay? If it's not a financial um, situation, then it could be like an earth sign or a water sign. What I'm sensing here is like um, there is a, a great sense of emotion tied in with this situation. It was very good at one point. And it's proving to be potentially problematic for this week, even this month, or even for this week and next week, all right? So this energy itself is pretty potent, but I don't want you to be um, too concerned with it, mainly because I do feel that the situation itself can be fixed early on if it's detected, if you take up the courage to tackle this head on, right? So um, let go of your fears, let go of your self-doubt, and, and like really be present to navigate the situation. A lot of you might be in a work situation in which in the past you you were kind of um, the game, the, the, the team player, all right? You were taking on the responsibility of helping other people. You were always there to like take on additional projects, staying and uh, working late. I feel that for this week and especially a lot, the first two weeks for this month, you are going to take more of a backseat approach because you don't want to overwork yourself and burn out. And as a result, people are just um, thrown back because in the past, they were dumping responsibilities on you. And out of the goodness of your heart, you were able to help them. So now they're kind of taken aback because you're overwhelmed and you, you really have other things that you have to handle and you have to take care of. So you're not as um, available yeah, I would say like available. It's not that you don't want to. You don't have the time. You don't have the energy at your disposal in order to, to be there to do this. So, and and as a result of it, other people are in your work environment, especially, especially like supervisors. They might not take kindly to this, but I feel that at the heart of it, they'll understand. They'll come around. They'll understand. And a little bit of explanation on your end would be beneficial, okay? So I just want you to be a little more aware of, like, what other people are doing, how you are being perceived. And I do feel in general that, um, you know, you do your own thing. You're very fiercely independent. But at the same time, consistency in a work environment, in relationships as well, would be very... Um, would be welcomed by whoever it is that you're dealing with, okay? So having a little more consistency in the way you do things, the way you act, the way you react, um, allows people to, like, know how to work with you. I hope that makes sense. So, you know, it's fine to be, like, independent and free-spirited, but if we're, like, um, lashing out in certain situations or if we're, like, closed off in certain situations, it makes interpersonal relationships with you very difficult because people can't gauge how you're going to react. They really can't gauge your likes and dislikes, what, you, what your pet peeves are, so they don't really know how to navigate in dealing with you. So I hope that makes sense. So just, yeah, be careful with the earth sign. I feel that that might be where the issue is with this earth sign because there is a mismatch in communication, in styles, 
and it makes it difficult to form to have like mutual understanding the same with the water sign but I do feel that the water sign is lacking in emotional depth because it is a page energy okay the water sign might be lacking in emotional depth in the ability to see the full picture outside of him or herself in order to work with you as a unit all right so this person is still it's a young energy is still somebody very self-absorbed so um they're not at their best right now to deal with you okay so aside from that i do hope that um oh also i just want to emphasize that um we do have a wish card here as well and the wish card you know it, it is a very good thing and i do feel that um at the heart of it though it is finance related so just um for this week just you know get out your checkbook and try to balance the books and see if there is like any financial issue that is um uh, that might be con uh, potentially dangerous or that might be potentially like um rocky moving forward into the future okay so it is important to hold on tightly to your finances but at the same time we do have this wish card which indicates to me that they will lift if there are financial problems but i just want you to like be aware of what's coming in what's going on in it with your finances and especially if you're financially linked in with another person okay so be very careful about that um i hope you have a wonderful weekend though i do feel that um if you've been sick, if you've been feeling under the weather and you can't really take on multiple work projects, this situation is going to improve, okay? But overall, I do feel for this week, one of the main thing is to, um, to like, uh, whatever your gut reaction is, don't act on it. Take some time to, um, to like, filter it, it out, process what you're feeling, all right? And I mean that on the work front, like um, understand why you have to explain to other people because they don't understand where you're coming from, okay? Don't get frustrated, just explain to them. At the same time, if you're thinking about impulse spending or something like that, just be careful. And if you're financially linked in with another person, really reassess who is spending what and why. And um, if you're dealing with a water sign that might be a little like immature, it is also important for you to speak up because this person might not have enough insight to know where you're coming from. Okay, so aside from that, it's going to be a good week and it's going to be an important week. So really keep your head focused, stay in the game and, you know, don't um, try to rein in on that temper. Okay, or try to like really stay put and just do a little more introspection okay i feel that it is going to help you with your interpersonal relationships so thank you very much for watching